Hi, my name's Nick. I'm doing a review on the Mindless Reefer. I've just got this straight out of the box. I haven't ridden it, so I'm going to be doing a follow-up review uh, later on. Probably two, three weeks from now when I've given it a good old ride when I get the rambles in the post. Now then, the Mindless Reefer is a seven... Is it seven? I think it's a seven or eight ply. Let me just check. It's an eight ply construction. The bottom ply, as you can see, is the zebra bamboo, and the top ply is also bamboo. So you're going to get a lot of strength, and you're still going to get a reasonable amount of flex if you weigh enough. I don't weigh enough to actually get much flex on this. I'm going to do a flex test in a minute, just to show you what I mean. Now, contrary to what people were saying, this deck is actually fully symmetrical at both ends. I've measured it. Um, it's visually symmetrical as well. You can tell this. Um, there's a lot of people saying, well, how come it has a forward arrow? Now, the reason for that is if you have a truck on the front and a truck on the back and your front truck's set up different to your back or vice versa, um, you know which end's the front. That's the only reason that they've put an arrow on it. If you took the grip tape away and you had perfectly set up, you perfectly set up your trucks so they're exactly the same, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because it is a symmetrical board. Now, this board actually has a bit of an hourglass shape which you can't really see on this video and I doubt you'll be able to see it um, unless you actually buy one and actually look at the board properly but it does actually taper in ever so slightly it must be about a 2mm taper in the middle so it's actually wider at both ends than it is in the middle now I'm really impressed by the construction of this board it is damn solid and I'm not just saying that I really do like the construction of this board um, I can't really see any def uh, defects whatsoever in the actual board itself there's a tiny little nick on one end which is just there, I'm not going to bother showing you because it's so small and you can hardly see it but that is the only real thing straight out of the box that I can see um, Mindless have really outdone themselves with this board because to be fair this is the first symmetrical board they've ever made and it is impressive now, I'm going to do a flex test for you, just so you get a bit of an idea of how much it actually does flex, because there's been a lot of people asking how much does the, the wreath actually flex, because nobody's actually done a proper review on it, which is why I fully intend to do one. Now, as you can see, I've just got two Argos catalogues. Uh, I haven't got trucks on it, because they're currently on my other board, but I will be doing another flex test, and my review will be done with either Randall R2s, or something very similar like Paris or vice versa or whatever. Now I'm just gonna show you the flex test. I'm just gonna check if I can see that on the camera. Yeah, I'm just gonna adjust slightly. There we go. Right now you can see that the board is completely flat. Now what I'm going to do is I weigh ten and a half stone. I'm just gonna be doing a basic jump up and down, see how much it actually flexes, because it will be quite interesting to see how much it does flex. So as you can see when I'm stood on it, there isn't really a lot of giving it. It's quite a solid board. It is designed for like medium bombing and the slides. So this is... Now that doesn't really seem to flex much to me, which is means it will be perfect for bombing and such because it won't move around a lot on the road. Now, I am very impressed with this board and for the price, I think it's absolutely amazing. I picked this up for £85 delivered, which I think is very, very good. And I definitely think it's a contender. My friend rides a land yacht, and he's not yet seen this, but I'll obviously be doing a follow-up review for that as well, as he's ridden other, like, downhill boards. I know it's not a downhill board, but I think it's a serious contender. And the other thing I really like about this is it weighs hardly... It weighs a lot less than you would think it would weigh for a board that's that thick. I mean, you can see it isn't a thin board. At the end of the day, I mean, that's my finger, it's what, it's a good, say, 11 mil, 12 mil thick. But at the end of the day, I'm not, it's so light, you, you're not going to notice this. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be like for grabs or anything else, because I haven't tried them yet. But as I say, I'll be following it up with a review. So, yeah, mindless, keep an eye on them, they're getting good.